bam back pal with another video we're going to be talking about amc entertainment holdings ticker symbol amc and we're also going to be talking about a ticker symbol ape the amc preferred equity stock okay we're going to go over both we're going to go over a little news that we went over yesterday and then we're going to go back to the charts and give all new levels for both of these i really 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 want to get amc stock tomorrow okay it's at a very key level it's, str it's showing strong support i'm even going to give you a buying level and i'm gonna let you guys know how i'm looking to play amc so smash the like button subscribe if you are new if you guys want that update on amc r8 tomorrow all you got to do is get the video over 150 likes and that is it and i'll update you guys tomorrow on amc and eight okay but make sure you guys watch the two videos for this one i got a video on mullen stock and i got a video on cosm right here too so two big videos make sure you go check it out and let's go ahead into it. As you guys know, yesterday, AMC, Adam Aaron, the CEO, was saying so much gar garbage info spreading about AMC by Twisted Conspiracy Theorists. He was saying that the real challenge, among others, but that the main challenge is basically getting their numbers up in the box office from their 2019 numbers, right? They did about $11.4 billion in 2019, pre all the cases and all the stuff that really happened to really mess up the whole economy in 2019. They want to get back to that. They did about $7.4 billion. And this is domestic box office revenue, right? So they did about $7.4 billion um, in 2022, up 64% from 21. So they are going up in the right direction, but it's still 35% below 2019. So that's what they're trying to get to. I think that's the main focus of what he's trying to do is get those numbers back to the 2019 numbers and then start to go up from there. It probably will take some time. 2023 this year 2024 and slowly have that growth right so that's what he was talking about now let's go ahead and go over to the levels on amc stock first and then we'll go to the ape stock how i'm looking to play both make sure you use the code 10 start you get 10 percent off your first month your first year depending on what you join it's the first link in that description you get all the rooms here you even get access to the 5k account challenge we're going to grow that 5k account to 50k account by this year and even more but that's in the elite section right so we have the apprentice and we have the elite. The elite will get the 5K challenge. So, okay, so make sure you um, join the team. We have the elite and the prints available for you. First thing in the description, use that code 10 start. Now, AMC. AMC is stalling out at the support level. It kind of reminds me of like um, Mullen. As Mullen kept going to the support levels and kept having that push, we had a support level at $3.85. You tell me where support hit today. Perfect. Look at the support level at $3.85. And look how perfect that hit was and had buying pressure off of that and sent AMC up to some higher prices. Now, remember, if it breaks this $3.85 level, we're probably going to be going at $3 on AMC, which is a big thing. So I'm going to leave that $3.85 level as a support. We do have a resistance at $4, but I'm going to actually let you guys know where I'm looking to buy. So I got a buying level right where price is. Okay, so my buying level is going to be right around $4.05 because it's at that crucial level i've been wanting to buy amc probably for like the past two days i've been wanting to see what it was going to do so since tuesday today and then as i've been wanting to see what it's going to do at that support level is it going to break it is it going to start pushing up from it but it's kind of just been stalled out there so i think i might go ahead and get in on amc shares tomorrow make sure you stay on tune on that if you're on the team and if you want to know when i buy make sure you join the team but if i buy at four dollars uh, five cents if it does break the 385 level, I'll only lose about 5%, right? Because I'll most likely cut it. But if it actually runs up to some prices where I think it could run, I'll make over like 20%. So it's about a four to one risk to reward. I like the risk to reward ratio. I do feel it can push, but just in case it doesn't, the most I can lose is about 5%, right? Which is a small loss considerable to the win I'm looking at for. So it's stalled here. I feel like we will get that push up. Even if we don't get a push up all the way to $5.50, which I think we would, these are my two uh, big exit targets. Don't worry. We're going to go over eight right after AMC. Even if we just get to like 480 or even like 460 to get a 10% gain, right? A gain is a gain. So we do have resistance about $4.30, but I feel like that's the only thing that could stop it before reaching that $4.80 uh, 80 level. So I have the buying level of $4.05. I'm going to look how it is tomorrow. We do have some news coming out tomorrow that might affect the stock in pre-market. So we'll see how that moves it. But for now, these are still the main three levels. I have my buying level at $4.05, looking to go ahead and get it. Support looks pretty strong, but just in case it does break, I'll lose 5%. But if not, then I'll get that upside of potential of the run of AMC, right? Last time we played it, I played it here and got that profit in. I haven't played it since. So 
looking most likely. I'm about 70% sure I'm going to be buying AMC sh uh, shares tomorrow to try to get that push in there. Okay, but I like how AMC looks out for, and that is your AMC update. Now let's go to eight ticker symbol A P E. Make sure you guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at will dot to knowledge. I have a thousand five hundred seventy three followers. Make sure you run the followers up. Uh, make sure it's the right Instagram. Make sure it's spelled like this. Make sure everything looks just like this. This is my only real one. There are fake ones going around. Do not be fooled. I'll never message you on Instagram ever. Okay, so make sure you're following the right one. Now ape ticker symbol A P E. Now ape is a little stalled out too. We have a support at a dollar about a dollar and ten cents or so. I'm actually going to move this up to about a dollar and twenty, but I'm going to actually turn this. Oh, let me see. Don't forget to smash the like button either. Get the video over 150 likes if you guys want to update tomorrow. I'm actually turning this into a buying level. So I'm going to turn this into a buying level now because I feel like we could get some push and I'm going to let you guys know what I'm looking out for. So let me take this off. We're looking for support, right? The support is now I'm up to the buying level at a dollar and twenty. I'm actually looking for resistance at about a dollar and forty. Bear with me. I'm gonna let you guys know. Okay. But I think if we actually get push, it can run up to about a dollar and seventy. So I'm actually very tempted to get eight shares tomorrow, also, hence the title buying tomorrow, because I'm about 70% sure. I'm going to be buying either both or at least one. So from $1.20, I feel like if we can get that breakage above $1.40, that will take us up to about $1.70. Now, the gain on AMC would be bigger, but we'll still get about a 20% gain on uh, APE, the AMC preferred equity, right? But I think what I'm going to do is, seems like buying pressure came here today. So if we can break this $1.40 resistance level tomorrow on APE, that's probably when I'll buy to send it up to some higher prices and get between a 10 to 20 ish percent type of gain on eight. OK, so both very good. Both holding support levels. Both seem like they're going to start pushing up to the higher side. But tomorrow will make up my mind to see which one I would get. I might not get none, but most likely I will. OK, so make sure you watch out for the levels I just gave you guys on AMC. A uh, recap of eight buying level dollar 20 that might have been activated resistance at 140. If we break that 140 level, I'll probably get in to take it to 170. And then a recap on AMC. We have a support at $3.85. Look very strong here. It's been holding here for about a week, about five trading days, almost six trading days. Buying level of $4.05. Most likely we get in. If we break $3.85, I'll probably lose about 5%. But then we could take it up to about 480, where I'll gain about 10 to 20%, just like eight. And it looks pretty good. Okay, so watch out for these levels. If anything changes, I'll update you guys as long as you guys get the video of 150 likes for tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe also. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. Join the team. Use that code 10 start 10% off anything on the website. I think it might end this Friday or next Friday. I'm not too sure on the date. I'll have to check that. But always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.